Welcome back, viewers. What happens to your body when you run 10 minutes every day? What does running for 10 minutes daily do to your body? Does it improve your health? Is running actually good for you? Is running hard on the body? What happens to my body while I run? For beginner runners, it can be hard to get in the groove of running. You might even be trying to talk yourself out of it before you grow to love it. Today, we will be talking about what happens to your body if you run for 10 minutes a day. Keep on watching to find out more. Is running good for you? Any runner can tell you their stories about how getting in a good run can immediately improve their mood. The runner's high, that euphoric feeling you get when your body begins producing endorphins, is a well-known and scientifically backed benefit of the practice of getting into some running shoes and pounding out some miles. But aside from a good mood boost, what other positive physical effects does running have on the human body? Let's take a look at how it changes your body composition and your overall physical system, and what changes the body undergoes during an average run. How running changes your body. What happens to your body during a 10-minute run? Running is a great sport to get in shape, burn some steam, and build muscles. But have you ever wondered what your body goes through on a 10-minute run? Whether you're a newbie or an experienced runner, notice how your body changes from beginning to end next time you hit the pavement. Understanding what your body goes through will help you become a stronger runner. The first few seconds of your run. As you begin to run, your muscles start using adenosine triphosphate, ATP. ATP is the energy molecule your body makes from food. Trust me, using ATP is a great thing. That surge of adrenaline is the ATP converting to another powerful molecule, adenosine diphosphate, ADP. Your muscle cells will change ADP back into ATP after that initial surge. First 90 seconds of your run. During this time, you'll be establishing your stride. In order to release more ATP, your cells begin to break down glycogen, a form of glucose or fuel stored in your muscles. Cells will pull glucose directly from your blood, which results in lower blood sugar levels. As your body uses more glucose and your muscles unleash lactic acid, also known as the burn, your brain will alert you that you're under physical stress. Don't panic, it's not a bad thing. The next few minutes of your run and beyond. If you're a new runner, this is where it may become tricky to maintain your running pace. Don't give up. Keep pushing yourself. Your heart will begin to beat faster. Blood will start to move toward your muscles and away from other organs that are not requiring energy. It takes an influx of oxygen to make the best use of your glucose at this time. At this point, you'll begin to breathe heavily. Once you feel comfortable in your stride, remember you were establishing it in the previous step. Your gluteus maximus, also known as your butt, legs, and core work to keep your form controlled and upright. Your hip joints will extend so your feet can push off the ground. In short, you'll be running. The burning of glycogen and oxygen tends to spike your body temperature. This is when you'll begin to sweat. Again, don't panic. Your sweat glands release moisture to keep you from overheating. Running is one of the best cardio exercises people can do from their homes without using any machines. Running will affect the composition of the body in a good way. In body shape, the muscles become lean, the bones become healthier and denser, the lungs are better, and the fat burns more. What happens to your body when you run 10 minutes every day? Number 1. It improves your lung capacity. The lungs greatly benefit from running. Once people start running, their lungs are initially unable to keep the body supplied with oxygen. For some time though, things will improve as the lungs expand and will supply the body with better oxygen. Breathing seems natural and normal. Improved lung capacity allows you to indulge in activities without running out of breath quickly. Number 2. A Stronger Core Our core keeps us strong while standing to keep us well balanced. Running makes the heart stronger and gives us much needed stability. In so many ways, a solid core is advantageous. It's the basis for an impressive six-pack. A better core will make you do harder things without getting exhausted quicker. A stronger core is being built as running places pressure on it. Number 3. It improves your blood circulation. When we run, the heart beats harder and quicker as it attempts to pump blood to all areas of the body that provide oxygen to the organs. The blood vessels will dilate as they struggle to bring more blood into the muscles. 
When you make running more frequent, the heart becomes stronger than seen above and more effective at pumping blood. Body arteries, muscle cells, lung capacity, and blood flow are adapted to better the exchange of carbon dioxide and oxygen. More capillaries are being developed to help in the exchange of gas. Improved circulation decreases the risk of arteriosclerosis and blockage of arterial roots that cause heart attack and stroke. Before we continue, a like would be great. Number four, develop stunning calves. Developing stunning calves is definitely one of the first things you'll note about your body after you've been running for a while. Your calves are going to be the nicest portion of your legs. The legs are stronger and sharp. Running is one of the easiest ways to grow stunning calves without calf raises. Number five, it increases your metabolism rate. Running can greatly improve your metabolism as the body gets used to burning calories quicker. Improved metabolism continues to provide the body with energy while helping to lose calories. It's a perfect way for people to lose weight while avoiding weight gain. The energy requirement of the body increases as people run to make the body metabolize quicker. By a regular running routine, you will encounter a lot of changes in your body caused by running. Number six, it creates a stronger heart. Running is one of the best aerobic workouts you can do in the comfort of your home without going to the gym. It has been proven to make the heart healthy and stronger. Strong pumping of the heart after a long period of time allows the heart to expand and decrease the activity of the right ventricle. Stronger and healthy hearts are a significant advantage that reduces heart-related medical problems. The circulation of the blood increases as the blood vessels dilate. Number seven, it makes your bone density better. Running will dramatically improve your overall bone density. Running builds bones and most of the runners have powerful bones. Bones reform to stress by properly managing the strain that comes with running. The weight of the bones of the legs, pelvis, and spine appears to be stronger than the bones found in inactive individuals. Strong bone density is good and avoids needless fractures. Individuals with high bone density are typically at reduced risk of osteoporosis and other associated bone fractures. Number eight, it improves your muscular endurance. When you run, your body moves like a projectile. The constant contraction of the body's muscles holds the body in motion. Sections of the quadriceps, glutes, hamstrings, and calves contract and relax in repetitive motions during the run. This increases muscle endurance by improving the ability to produce more energy from the breakdown of carbohydrates and fats. Improved muscle endurance can make you run for a long time without getting exhausted easily. The outcome in day-to-day -day practices will also be greatly improved. Number nine, it decreases your body fat. Reducing the amount of fat in your body can be helpful in so many ways, and running plays a significant part in reducing fats. Running is a perfect aerobic activity that raises the calories to burn during and over a longer period of time. When the body's fat goes down, the muscles of the runner become noticeable, giving people their athletic physique. Decreasing the number of fats will boost your physical appearance while holding you away from the risk of a heart attack. Number 10, it changes your overall body fitness. Running makes your body fit in a variety of ways, aside from bones and muscles. It enhances your cardiovascular system while enhancing your body's capacity to burn more calories. People who run a lot are fitter and have a rocked body figure than people who don't run. Running makes the bone stronger, then they can bear the weight of the body and the strain of running. Are you ready to start running 10 minutes a day? Share us your thoughts by leaving a comment below. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. For more interesting facts on the human body, subscribe to the channel. Here are two more videos you should check out, both of them will definitely help you reach your goals.